We want to talk about compound inequalities today. Compound inequalities are just that, just like in English, compound sentences. They have an and or an or in it. So we're going to talk about compound inequalities. First of all, we want to talk about the and portion. Something is not equal and something else is not equal. So let's have an example. X is greater than or equal to negative 1. X is less than 2. Now this right here can be stated a different way. Let's flip it around. We can state that negative 1 is less than or equal to X. Now we haven't changed that at all, have we? All we've done is flip this whole thing and make a mirror image of it. Okay? That's all we've done. But what that allows us to do is simply combine these together into an AND statement. And that AND statement looks like this. Negative 1 is less than or equal to X is less than 2. And that's all that says. Okay? Simply less than 2. Now let's graph that. Graph it on a number line. Okay? Let's take a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, negative 1. What are we going to do with the negative 1? Are we going to put a solid circle on it, or are we going to put an open circle? We've got an equals here, so that basically says this x is going to be equal to negative 1, so we can put a solid circle right there. Alright? Now, this also says that x is bigger than negative 1, or the negative 1 is less than or equal to. So that means everything over here. Okay? Let me put this on the top. So basically all of this is going to go this way. Okay? So that's the first part of it. Now let's look at the second part of it. X is less than 2. So if we were graphing just this piece of it, are we going to have a solid circle or are we going to have an open circle? It's going to be open because it says less than. There's no equal sign. So let's graph it a little bit down below. Okay? And x is less than 2. So it's going to go this way. It's going this way. It's headed this way. Now, how do we find the solution to the whole thing? Well, what we do is we combine the two together and we stop where they stop. So essentially, we'd be looking at this. This would be open right here. This would be solid right here. And then we'd scratch it all in between. So the black represents the combination, okay, or the intersection of those two, all right? The and portion. X can be equal to negative one, greater than that, up until it gets to what? As close as it can to two can approach to, but cannot equal to because of that open circle. Okay? So that's how it's represented. Now let's do an example of one. Okay, where we're actually solving something here. Let's get this up here. 13 is less than 2x plus 7 is less than 17. Now, we can set this up as two different inequalities, and let's do that that first way. So we can come over here and say, break this off, and say this. 13 is less than 2x plus 7. Then we can come over here and take this portion and say 2x plus 7 is less than 17. And break it up into two inequalities and solve each one. So let's solve this. In order to solve this, what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to subtract 7 from both sides. What we do, you have, my, you have a 6, it's less than 2x. And divide by 2, this goes to 1, 3 is less than x. 
Okay? All right? Now let's do the same thing over here. Let's solve this. We're going to subtract this 7. Both sides, we're left with 2x. This goes to 0. Less than or equal to 10 divided by 2 divided by 2. This goes to 1. We're left with x. It's less than or equal to 5. Okay? Now let's graph that solution. <clears throat> this first one over here. Let's do that one in pink. X and 3. Are we going to put a solid or an open circle around 3? That's right, an open circle. Now, is X greater than or less than? X is bigger, big side over here. 3 is less than. So this is going to go, X is going to be that way, so we're going to put this this way. It's going to go all the way this way. Okay? All right, now let's do the other one. X is less than or equal to five. Well, what are we gonna put around the five? Are we gonna put a solid circle or an open circle? It says it equal, so it's gonna be solid. So we're gonna come here, let's put that down here. Let's erase that where we messed that up. No, get it back. Gotta put our stuff in here, put a dot there. Come over here and put our solid line back in. Now we can come back to our. Okay, let's wrap that down below. We're going to put a solid circle. Now is x above to the right or to the left of 5? Correct? It's going to go this way. So we're going to be going all the way this way over here. Okay? Now, let's look at the combination of those two. We'll go back to our black. Combination. We'll start where they start, stop where they stop. Stops at the 3 with an open circle. Stops at the 5 with a closed circle and anything in between those two. That's going to be our solution. Okay? What would that look like? Right there. Right there. Just like that. Okay? Well, this is one way to do it. We can take a compound and inequality and divide it and break it up into two different inequalities. Now, let's do, look at it, do it a different way. All right? Just a little bit different way. We're going to take the exact same problem. 13 is less than 2x plus 7 is less than or equal to 17. <clears throat> now, this time, instead of breaking it into 2, let's just solve it as 1. Okay? What do we need to do? We need to subtract 7 from here. If I subtract 7 from here, I have to do it here. And I also have to do it here. Whoa. Okay, so we're going to solve both equations at once. When I subtract it from here, it leaves a 0. That's x. Subtract here, I have a 6. Less than, less than or equal to, 10. Now I have a 2 I need to get rid of. That goes to 1. Divide by 2 over here, divide by 2 over here. What's left? 3 is less than x, but it's centered equal to 5. Now, if you look at it and read it as 2, 3 is less than or equal to x, or x is greater than 3. It's one of our inequalities, and x is less than or equal to 5. Okay, now let's graph it again. See if we come up with the same solution. This time we'll start a little bit down here. Zero, one, two, three. Okay. All right. Now, again, let's take this portion of it. All right. What are we going to put around the three? A solid or an open? It doesn't go to the three, so it's going to be open. Put this up above. That's going to be open. 
For which direction is it going to go? The 3 is less than, x is greater, so this is going to go this way. Okay? Now let's do the other portion of it. Let's do this section. x is less than or equal to 5. What are we going to put here on the 5? The solid aren't open. We're going to put a solid. Okay? And x is less than or equal to 5, so it's going to go this way. Okay? Now let's look at the combination. Let's put it in blue. Where the 3 is, we're going to have an open. Where the 5 is, we're going to have a solid. And in between is where our x is. Okay? Look at those two. That's the exact same solution we had with doing two separate inequalities and combining them. You can also do it this way. And that's our and inequalities.